So I was in the movie Cobb with Tommy Lee Jones. I got to play. It was really cool because I got to play. Ronnie Shelton was the director. I got to play like a Christy Matheson 1915 pitcher. So I went in. They cut my hair real short. They gave me. They 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 told me to grow my beard out a little bit, and it wasn't enough. So the makeup artist she she dotted me up and made me look like I have a five o'clock shadow. And you fill out that thing about cigars and cigarettes. Do you dip? Chew? No, 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 no. Check all the boxes. And there's a scene out there. Where it's only a baseball scene, and I'm going to throw to Tommy Lee. He's going to he's playing Ty Cobb. He's got the split grip on the bat. He's going to hit a double off me, and we're going to bitch each other out a little bit and uh, banter a little bit. It's the only scene there. And he slides in, you know, Ty Cobb would slide in high with spikes and uh, he, he ends up hitting the catcher pretty good. And, uh, but again, it's the only baseball scene and in, in, in actually in the movie we're filming in Rickwood, Alabama. It's a hundred degrees. I'm in an all wool uniform, this old school uni. And uh, Ronnie Shelton wants me to have like a dip or two or something like it looks like in my a little p- packet or whatever. Well, I said, no problem. Just give me a little uh, piece of black uh, Tootsie Roll or uh, licorice and we'll be fine. And the prop person's supposed to have it. We're ready to go. Boom. We're on the field getting ready to do the first scene. He says, where's the Tootsie Roll? We couldn't find it. Nobody could find it. Not, we had nothing around. The little bat boy that we have, he's got Red Man uh, chewing tobacco in his back pocket. So I said, all right, to hell with it. Give it to me. So I take it and I sponge it up really tight like size of a dime or a quarter. And I put it in my bottom cheek, and within a minute, I'm in uh, La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sp- I'm spinning like I'm on a carnival ride. And now I got to pump and go up over my head and do this old school wind up, and I got to throw one high and tight on him. And that's what starts the scene. Well, I'm spinning, and I wind up, and I throw one about 85 to make it look real right at Tommy Lee. And I thought, I, you know, you got the soft hats on back then, you didn't have helmets. So I barely miss him. He goes down the dirt, and I'm like, oh, my God, I about killed him. And I walk up to apologize. He jumps up and starts doing his line like, is that all you got? If I couldn't throw harder than that, I'd wear a GD dress or something. And I realize he's doing the scene, so I just jump in and start doing the scene. But that was my uh, – other than one other time hunting way back when, that was uh, that was the first time I had a little uh, chewing tobacco in my bottom lip, and it, it was uh, – I, I have no idea. I'm thinking I have no idea how somebody could do that and pitch with that. Uh, uh, you you wouldn't be able to see the signs that you put down. Yeah, we got a much better alternative nowadays. Plus, uh, yeah. good to know that he's he's sending messages even when he's not on, yeah, on the big right? league mound. <laughs> Wait, better better role for you, that or oh, skid yeah. mark in Kingpin? Yeah, that's you know that's bullshit right there. You bring that up. What do no, you mean? I'm <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, so so let me I'll do a quick one on that that one. Uh, so um, uh, I was supposed to be in Dumb and Dumber, and the team wouldn't let me go. We we're going to film one day somewhere. And Wait, that's were you going to be Sea Bass? I was going to be Sea Bass, kick Damn. his ass, Sea Bass. Yeah. So and the Fairley brothers, they they love to have like a New England, uh, you know, uh, athlete or whatever in their movies. So I said, listen, they're not going to let me come. I'm kind of disappointed. It looked like it was going to be fun. But Cam Neely, Cam was with the Bruins at the time. And I uh, said, get Cam. So Cam had kind of a Canadian accent. And most of the lines in there for like a shit kicking truck driver. You know, I'm going to kick his ass, sea bass and all that. So they go, we're going to get you. We're going to get you. So you just stay tight. So the following winter, they called and they said, all right, we got a roll for you. It's in the off season. We're filming in Reno. We're flying you in there. Take one day, we're filming at night, and you can do it. And I said, I'm not going anywhere, boys, till you tell me. I know you guys got a crazy nickname. What's my name in the movie? And they go, well, if we tell you that, you won't come. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what is it? And he goes, well, you're skid mark. And I go, you guys are freaking crazy. <laughs> and I said, they go, all right. I said, what, do you, what am I going to be this time? And they go, you're going to be another shit-kicking truck driver. You're going to come into a bar, and Randy Quaid's going to be dancing with your girl, and that's where Woody's going to be with you, Harrelson, and – here we go. And, uh, but yeah, they, I, the hat I had on, I had an earring in, I had three tattoos of the girls that I had dated or married and they crossed two of them out. And I had the current one on my, on my <laughs> bicep. And then, uh, my hat, my hat was the best. My hat said, uh, truck driver hat said ass grass or cash. No one rides for free. <laughs> so I had a big old mustard colored vest on. Yeah. So there we go. So we, we, you know, it was Woody was into basketball from that white men can't jump. So we played basketball 
ran up and down the court from about 11 a.m. till two in the afternoon. Then we'd go rest and we filmed at uh, from like 11, 11 uh, p.m. till two in the morning in the middle of nowhere in Reno. So, but it was a good one. They, those guys are crazy. Their movies, their movies are crazy. That is crazy. That would have been cool yeah. if he was in Dumb and Dumber too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was yeah. That was a classic. Yeah, yeah. 